Got a Yale that came in, um, cranking no start, and the tech outside figured there is no spark. Um, that's a new coil, all right, and a new battery. So, first things first, let us recreate what he said that there's no spark. So, that's from the ignition coil, just pulled it out close enough to the um, cylinder head cover. Let's see if we get any spark. Up, we got nothing okay so the next part is we're gonna take it from here and see if we're getting any spark con coming out of that ignition okay, so we're coil. gonna use a test light uh, to figure out if we're gonna get a spark out of the ignition coil itself so the end of the test light is gonna be on a walk ground so let's test it out on a positive okay so we got good ground on that one okay I'm gonna let it hang over here, probably like a three quarter of an inch away. Okay, crank. Okay, okay. So we don't have any spark coming off the ignition coil either. So first thing we have to figure out is does it have power and does it have a pulse coming from your igniter inside the distributor? Okay, still using the test light. Now I got my uh, clamp on the negative okay to a positive okay so right now we're still key off I got no positive okay key on okay that's already key on still nothing so we are missing a positive for this ignition coil okay so that's the first thing we have to figure out first but what we can do to figure out if it's just a positive that we're missing I can bypass that positive from the battery itself. So we're, try, we're gonna try to do that okay, first. So what we have now is I put back the cable from uh, the uh, ignition coil. So at the end of it, I have my spark tester, all right, to simulate the spark plug and has a negative to the block. So now I'm gonna transfer my test light to the positive end. Okay, make sure we have continuity. Okay, now I'm gonna put it right here. So it's lit, I have a positive. That means to tell me that my coil is not open. I'm getting a negative through uh, the negative part of that ignition coil, which is going through the uh, igniter. Okay, so right now we have this. I got a positive, I'm gonna bypass that. Then I'm gonna focus you on my spark tester. Okay, bypass and crank it. Okay, we got a spark. Okay, so the only thing we're missing really is a positive. So what I did was I bypassed the system right here. I don't know if I can show you that. Okay, I'm gonna bypass now, giving a positive. Okay, crank it again. Okay. Okay, so what we are missing on this coil is a positive supply. Being that, now we have to figure out where are we are losing our positive. Probably going to key switch or maybe from the fuse. So one thing that we've noticed also is that when I key on the display, because has my nothing. display doesn't have any power whatsoever, I'm gonna check those fuses. So right now I have my uh, negative again on my clamp because I'm looking for a positive so my test light is gonna be lit if I encounter a positive on this tip okay we're now with key on okay let me test out the, the uh, fuses that's good transfer to the other side that's good that's good on that side good on that side I got it one there there last one Okay, I got nothing. This one. And I got nothing here. I got nothing on the terminal, on the holder, but I got something on the fuse. So the fuse is good. So that's the fuse. That's the end of the fuse. But on the holder, there's nothing. Okay, so on the holder, 
it doesn't transfer to the holder. So put it on the fuse. Let's try to do this. Ah. So now, me touching the fuse and the holder together, it came back. I got my display now. Uh, I'm willing to bet that let's try to move this. Oh, it's loose. That's why. Look at that. Oh, actually, it fell out. <laughs> Okay, so what was happening was the holder has been spread apart. I don't know because it's too close to the pedal. Somebody might have hit it. And that fuse, although it's still good, wasn't making good enough contact. So we fixed that part. Okay, right now we have our display back. Okay, I'm willing to bet that right now I would have power going to my ignition coil. All right, so let's crank it again. Yep, okay, spark is back. Okay, spark is back. Let's try to put it on the distributor. See if this baby's gonna start up. Okay, let's see, crank it. There you go. All right, so I guess we can call this one a fix. Um, that's it for this video.